New Testament cannot accept it. And you are accepting it and you appreciate it and you love it in a way and even like from the heart because you grew up in a certain culture and you have been taught certain things and you've been misled in a certain way that confirms to you that that's the truth. You heard bed, bedtime t stories on on him, that he was so humble, that he was so great, that he was so amazing. Like, I can understand you that you that you fell for that. I do. The only question is if it's true or not. The stories are fantastic, amazing lessons. Like, I hear you. Who will not love someone so humble? But the question is if it's true. May Hashem bless you. May the Creator and the Maker of the world bless you to think God in flesh, such a sick and crazy concept, God in flesh, drop your nonsense, God in flesh. It's not the truth. There is no God in flesh. All the creation is Hashem's reflections. God in flesh, the Creator in flesh, come on. Now you want to be upset with me? You want to hate me? Okay. So do to me what you think that the Jews did to Jesus. Jesus. Okay. That's what you want. You want to crucify me? Okay. Maybe I'm the Antichrist. All right. Whatever. It's crazy. Jesus is the Son of God. Who is not the Son of God? All the children of Israel are the sons of God. It's written, B'nai Israel, the children of God. Okay. So what? Jesus, he was like what? He was the, the, the what? The what son of God? Okay, you want to say he was the son of God? Bnei Israel, the children of Hashem. We're all. Banai, he called us, my children. Bnei El Elyon, he said, Elohim atem uvnei Elyon kulchem. He said it to all the children of Israel. Elohim atem uvene elyon kulchem. That is a verse. Okay, now you want to talk verses. Elohim atem, all of you. Oh no, only Jesus. Why only Jesus? Why you want to say Jesus? He is. Why? Because someone told you? Okay, so go check. Go make a real search and check. And, and check the original scripts. The ones that the church tried to burn for thousands of years breaking down synagogues of Jewish people, taking all their books, <laughs> putting them in piles, and putting gasoline and books and, and firing all and, and burning them to ashes. Go, go look for the, under the ashes, under the piles of ashes, why the church was chasing after the Jewish books for thousands of, for 2,000 years. There's a reason. There are some evidence that needs to be to be erased, right? To be to be hidden. Why? Why to be scared of the truth? The truth will will set you free. Will bring you to happiness. Will bring you to truth. You don't need to go and hate Jesus. Me, I don't hate Jesus. I don't hate no one. I don't hate no one. Why did why did I need to hate someone? Why did I need to put hate into my heart? I love everyone. But to follow someone that that is not the truth, that, that to, to worship a Messiah, to worship an idol, to make an to idolize idolize a human being. If I will admire someone, I will admire Moses. If I need to admire someone, I'll admire King David. I will admire the, the, the holy sages. I will admire them. I will never worship a man. I will not bow to a man and kiss a man and, 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 and worship. It's an idol. It's an idol. It's a statue. The Bible is saying you're not allowed to make no, no statue and no mask. And to bow to them and to. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. So help you God.